We're in Shanghai for the climax of the Asian Swing and the penultimate Masters 1000 tournament on the ATP calendar. A busy schedule on Wednesday featuring some of the biggest names in the sport to complete the second round action. Rafael Nadal had never lost to Viktor Troitsky in five previous meetings, but the Serbian world number 31 was in inspired mood in a fiercely contested opener. Set point arriving on the Nadal serve. Not sure he's played a better set of tennis all year. Nadal's Chinese fans were fearing the worst in set two. Despite producing moments of lung-busting defence, Troitsky kept on coming. Oh, what a dick. Oh, sensational tennis. A couple of great digs there. Both players. A tiebreak would decide set two, and despite Nadal's best efforts, Troitsky was closing in on a memorable victory. <laughs> oh, his heart was in his mouth there. Oh, what a way to finish it! Victory for Troitsky for the very first time in his career over Nadal. Andy Murray's Asian swing got underway with a Beijing bang, claiming a first title in China's second biggest tournament against USA's Steve Johnson in Shanghai. The British number one was again at his all-action best. Oh, come on! What a get! What an athlete this guy is! The Scots' aggressive start was maintained. Murray soon on his way to a double break in set two. More of the same. A third successive win against Johnson had never really looked in doubt. Murray's bid for a third Shanghai crown up and running. Good performance from Murray. Earlier in the day, Stan Wawrinka would rapidly find himself in a battle against 21-year-old qualifier Kyle Edmund, who enters at a career-high world ranking of 48. Oh, how's that for variety? Wawrinka broke late to see out the opener, and although Edmund came back fighting after an early break in the second, the Swiss star remained strong when under pressure. Edmund had put in a good account of himself, but in the end, the world number three was clinical in the crunch moments. Oh, nicely done. Got in a little bit of trouble there in that final service game, but managed to come through it unscathed in the end. Another top seed has fallen, though. World number nine, Thomas Burdich, found himself under pressure in his second round scrap against Spain's Marcel Granollers. The world number 43 had yet to take a set from Burdich in four attempts. With that record ended by a set one tiebreak, Granollers maintained the tempo in set two. Such a clever player. Boy, does he compete well. Burdich's famous consistency is showing signs of fading, and the Czech star with another big setback in his hopes of qualifying for the World Tour finals. That's a big win for Granollers, having a good season, singles and doubles, always double dipping. Milos Raonic, though, is safely through to the third round after comfortably seeing off Italy's Paolo Lorenzi in straight sets, keeping alive his quest to reach the Shanghai quarterfinals, this event the only Masters 1000 tournament where he's yet to do so. But there was still time for one more surprise result on Wednesday. Beijing finalist Grigor Dimitrov unable to live with an aggressive performance from Vazek Pospisil, the Canadian claiming back-to-back -back wins for the first time in 2016. A Thursday thriller awaits in Shanghai with all eight third-round matches to come and a star-studded schedule at the Quizhong Tennis Centre.